Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Juan Acuna. Hi everyone, welcome back. A very good Thursday afternoon to you. We're starting off with our Mike Shaw Kia 6 weather bug. This is out on SPID and Nile as well. Look at those clouds. It looks like it wants to rain out there. A completely different picture from what we started out the week where it was sunny and dry. And now we have lots of cloud coverage. Temperatures are holding on into the middle to upper 70s, but that's the key right there. Those winds, they continue to be out of the east southeast across the area. And that is causing some minor tidal overflow occurring out near Bob Hall Pier. And that's why uh, we have some of those advisories, those coastal flood advisories in effect until later on this evening. So use caution out there. But we've been talking about the dew points. I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but again, it's the weather story. Again, these were pretty high yesterday as far as the 24 hour dew point changes, and they're still high out there compared to just 24 hours ago. So let's take a look at dew points right now where these were into the 30s and 40s. And uh, we talked about them getting back into the 70s by the end of the week. And look what we have. We have those dew points that are visiting back into the lower 70s here. So yes, it is very muggy outdoors, but not to worry. It's not going to last forever, though. But right now, those clouds are firmly in place. We have moisture coming in out of the west, and we have moisture coming in off the Gulf of Mexico, and it is leading to a few little stray showers across the area. Nothing too significant at this point, but we continue to have some more shower activity off in the Gulf of Mexico that's going to be pushing to the coastline later on to the evening hours. I know there's some football games going out, so you may want to throw the umbrella in there. This is not anything severe, but again, there could be a little downpour or so, maybe for about 15 or 20 minutes before it moves on or eventually dissipates. But there's a little disturbance out to the west of us uh, under the upper level low that's up to the northwest and the upper levels of the atmosphere, but tropical moisture continuing to seep right on in thanks to high pressure off into the Gulf of Mexico. That frontal boundary that was in the central plains yesterday has already pushed off past us. It's not headed in our direction, but there's our saving grace there. If you want the cooler weather, here's our next weather maker for us here. So let's go on and track that again. We have isolated showers in the Gulf. We have high pressure out to the west of us. And then there's this frontal boundary as it continues to push down to the south over the next couple of days on Friday and on into Saturday. The isolated shower activity I think is only going to be stray here in the coastal bend on Friday and Saturday. The better chances of rain will stay to the north and east of us, but we could see some pretty hefty and uh, strong storms up in North Texas as this frontal boundary pushes up and that area. But once it pushes all the way down into the coastal bend, I think most of that activity will remain offshore. We could see a couple of scattered showers and some thunderstorms early in the morning, but after that, the cooler and drier air will take over. So there's the chance for some showers overnight tonight. We could see another round of some inland fog tomorrow. Again, a few stray showers here and there, nothing too significant across the area. We'll repeat the process on Friday and on into Saturday as well. But then once the front comes in, everything starts to improve. So 70 and 88 for tomorrow, 74 and 90 as we go on Saturday. Then there comes the front. It's going to be a dry air returning after that, even a reinforcing front on Tuesday with nothing but sunshine as we go into next week. Steph, Priscilla.